Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Supporting me, is not a coincidence or a waste of time. I will deliver later in time. La crème, de la crème. Development in Germany. Now I started with topics to get to you at all. When I reach the win-win situation, you get the best here. Many successful channels, show you how to design some components on the board with some oscilloscope images. I show you. How you can work at Continental or BMW as a premium developer. And believe me, you won't even get something like that, at the university in Germany. If you are not interested then please do it for others. The consumption reduction potential of the conventional combustion engine, has been almost exploited. To meet future requirements with respect to reducing fuel consumption and CO2 emissions, alternative and complementary solutions are essential. The big challenge in this context, is to provide customers with the high level of performance and comfort, they are accustomed to while keeping additional costs to a minimum. Car manufacturers believes that a 48 volts on board electrical system, offers a great deal of potential, for pursuing and achieving exactly these goals. 48 volt system is a cost efficient, entry level hybridization measure for the high volume market and represents an intermediate step between conventional and plug-in hybrid vehicles. Several possibilities are available for realizing a 48-volt system. In addition to the consumption reduction, the availability of extra electric power, makes it possible to implement new customer functions and electrify components, that are currently mechanical by design. This innovation potential for further applications, will then be revealed and demonstrates the future possibilities of 48-volt systems. With the increasing electrification of car models, the energy requirements of start-stop cars and micro-hybrid electric vehicles, have increased considerably, and are approaching the 3 kW limit of a 12 volts power supply. A mild hybrid vehicle requires much higher power. More than 200 ampere of current distributed on a 12 volts bus, requires a larger section of copper wire, which increases system costs. In addition to the line losses when distributing high currents, high power 12 volts devices become less efficient and have higher losses, as the output power increases. To solve this problem, a 48 volts power supply system, is added to supply the high power components instead. A 48 volts system has many advantages. For start-stop operation, recovering energy during braking or deceleration with 48 volts is twice as efficient when compared to 12 volts. The recovered energy can provide supplemental power to accelerate the vehicle, enabling a driving system to gain fuel efficiency from downsized engines, rather than losing engine performance. A 48 volt system also confers the advantages of hybridization, without the complexity, while boosting overall fuel efficiency by 10 to 15 percent, which will help manufacturers meet increasingly stringent carbon dioxide emission targets. The dual bus architecture will remain valid, until high energy density 48 volts cold cranking technology becomes practical, at which point manufacturers can switch all components to 48 volts. It is clear, that there is a need for a bi-directional step-down, and step-up DC-DC converter, that goes between the 12 volts and 48 volt batteries. This DC-DC converter can be used to charge either battery, and allows both batteries to supply current to the same load if required. A single phase bi-directional converter, can operate in buck mode and boost mode. When Q-top is an active switch, and q -bot is a synchronous switch, the converter operates in buck mode. When the roles of Q-top and q -bot reverse, the converter is in boost mode. Our goal is the hardware design of this DC-DC converter. For this we need a specification. In the future, I will also show you in detail, how to work in an automotive team, according to the so-called V model. So for our hardware design, we will follow this typical automotive specification.
the next video, we will first build a hardware architecture in Altium Designer. Step by step, we will then design our circuits to meet this specification. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.